Rev up your engines! Today I'm going to talk about who makes the best all-wheel drive vehicle. And here I'm not talking about the big boys, giant trucks or anything. I'm talking about cars and SUVs with all-wheel drive. Now sometimes people get confused with the idea of all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive is a system that's on all the time that provides a certain percentage of drive to all four wheels. As an example, this Toyota Celica is front wheel drive. It only drives off the front two wheels. Where older cars like a classic 67 Mustang were rear wheel drive. Only the rear wheels drove the car. Now there are four wheel drive vehicles. Those, you can turn the systems off. So you can have just the rear wheels driving the vehicle or when you're worried about being stuck, you can put it into gear for the front. Then you have front and rear wheel drive. But the all-wheel drive systems, they're the most sophisticated. They adjust, especially the best ones, for whatever driving condition you're in. What percentage of drive is the front? What percentage is the rear? The new ones are very complicated and when they work well, they really handle. Now the four-wheel drive system came first and that was mainly, like I said, for trucks, military vehicles. It was more for a lower speed thing to get traction. Eventually, they started to think, let's put all wheel drive and higher performance, higher speed vehicles. Take the exotic vehicle, the Jensen FF. That was a high speed vehicle that had all wheel drive. And that was for performance because you could corner better when all four wheels were driving and you wouldn't have the non-drive ones slipping. Then in more true road based cars for driving the road, the Subaru Leon and the Audi Quattro were high speed all wheel drive cars. Now in terms of pure technology, the Audis being owned by Volkswagen, those have probably the all wheel drive system that operates the best. Of course that's when it's operating and when it doesn't break down. And Subaru has been building all wheel drives for a long time. Matter of fact, all their vehicles are all wheel drive now except for that BRZ sports car. Everything they make is all wheel drive. But there's one vehicle that takes all wheel drive to the most insane level of technology and that of course is the Tesla Model S. They have a motor at each wheel, an electric motor. So in the Tesla, since each wheel has its own electric motor, you're talking about ultimate control of the power that's transmitted by each wheel because it's controlled by computers and electronically. So if one wheel is in really bad ice and the other one is on dry pavement, then you can pretty well set it up so you're not sliding all over the place and still have good traction. But then again, we're talking about mega bucks here. So I'm going to tell you the best all-wheel drive systems out there that aren't outrageously expensive. So I'm not going to include the Tesla. Now the next best all-wheel drive system is the Audi Quattro system. That debuted in 1980, so I've been making it for quite some time. Now the Audi system is extremely complex and sophisticated and expensive too, of course. But it's set up more for speed. It automatically gives the most power to the wheels that it sees has the most traction. Believe me, it is really complicated. But when it's working, it really works well. But just like the rest of the car that's connected to it, hey, road test a brand new Audi, you'll probably fall in love with it. But if you own it for six or seven years, you'll probably find it to be a nightmare of repair. So <laughs> keep that in mind. Technology isn't always the best way to fix a problem. Originally, the Quattro system was a lot more mechanical than it is today, but today it uses extremely sophisticated electronic components to give you not only the power, but really good control when it's snowing or raining outside too. There's no arguing that. So here the Germans have fascinating technology, but at what cost? Take World War II. They only made so many King Tigers they all kept breaking down, couldn't go that far. Obviously they lost the war. Sometimes the technology goes a little too far. If you want something that's gonna last a long time. Now the next good all wheel drive system is the one used in the Acura MDX, the SUV. There's a system that's called SH all wheel drive, super handling all wheel drive that debuted in 2005. It uses an active differential that you often find in high performance race cars. It's a sophisticated system too. The Acura system is known for its torque vectoring formulation. It's a handling thing and that only makes sense because it's in an SUV. You're not supposed to be racing around in those things straight line, but 
it really helps cornering so they don't slip which is what you really need in a relatively large size SUV with that system it helps you stay on the pavement instead of sliding off it and let's face it these aren't off-road vehicles you want to stay on the road the system's designed for the road good all-wheel drive systems might surprise you it's the one that they used in the Ford Fusion Ford's intelligent all-wheel drive system has the ability to put 100% of the power to either the front or the rear wheels making it work great in snowy or wet weather it's a tech heavy system that can react 20 times faster than a blink of your eye to adjust the system for the road conditions as they change as you drive over them and when you're cornering it has the ability to compensate for oversteer or understeer using the drive system so that it handles really well so really for the average Joe the best system out there is the Subaru every vehicle they make is all-wheel drive except for the BRZ now unlike a lot of the all-wheel drive systems out there that started as a two-wheel drive system and then adapted that system to make it all-wheel drive that system was designed for all-wheel drive right from the get-go provide power to all four wheels continuously under all conditions the Subaru symmetrical system I've been building these things for quite some time although I'm not a Subaru fan myself I have to say if I lived in a really snowy mountainous climate I'd think about buying a Subaru next time you go skiing check out the parking lot you'll probably see quite a few Subarus parked under there now of course with all these all-wheel drive systems today you're dealing with a high level of technology and understand that it's going to be more in repairs as time goes on even simple repairs like changing a starter I've seen it end up costing five six hundred dollars more to replace a starter on an all-wheel drive system because all these pieces were in the way of the starter and you had to remove them to get the starter off understand that but if you live in a snowy wet rainy environment or you really want an SUV that's safe and handles well hey now you know which all-wheel drive systems are well made so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos Remember to ring that bell!